Right guys, so heading into week four, I'm just sitting on a walk with the dog, so it was check-in day to day. And it kind of is a good point to kind of bring up things like scale weight, because once again, the first week my scale weight had went up, and then it came down. Um, the following week and this week it's went back up. So it's another thing that I've not really covered. Not in a lot of detail, and I'm not going to cover it in a lot of detail here, but scale weight is one of those things, there's so many variables to it. I'm only weighing myself once a week, and typically, if I was taking things super duper seriously, you should weigh yourself maybe seven days a week and take an average and see what it is then. There's so many factors that will go into a scale weight in terms of the type of food you ate, when you ate your food, the amount of sleep you've had, how stressed you are physically, mentally, etc, etc. Like I said, there's just so many reasons and a lot of people will get totally hung up if the scales went up and um, that they feel like, oh, this isn't working or I've ate too much and stuff now. This is where it's important to try and do measurements as well and a lot of people just kind of be asked doing measurements. Don't need to take a lot, like, where, where do you store your most fat? That's what I kind of do. So, almost every week I'll do a waist measurement because I get big love handles now if I get a lot of fat. So I do that every week and then every second week I'll take a lot of measurements, like, again, my chest, my hips, um, my waist, I do three measurements from my waist, my thighs, etc. And across the board, like, they're all noticeably down. Another thing you'd need to do as well is, I would always suggest progress pictures. Now, if you're a heavier individual, I understand the, the the psychological aspect of looking at yourself in a certain way and having to judge yourself like that. And you probably think to yourself, oh my God, I don't want to look at myself like that. But again, it just is what it is. Like if you if you really want to improve yourself, it's good to have something to compare against. And if the scales are something that you're always at war with, then doing pictures can be hell of important. So I just kind of wanted to get that out there that, like I kind of touched on last week, that it's not. The scales are not the big be all end all for everyone. Now, the heavier you are, I'm just going to be blunt, the fatter you are, they are important, but they're not the only thing. Right, um, so I'm heading into week four. Today's another rest day, although I'm out with the dog. Woke up feeling a bit, like really bad sore head this morning. Really dry and bad with the throat. I don't know if it's just maybe because I've started putting heat on in my house again, I don't know. But I'm ready for the week ahead and I want to finish strong. So I'll see you tomorrow. If you smell what the rock is cooking. Good morning guys and welcome to the final week of doing this. Now you can't really tell but it's a really a really wet morning. There's some puddles there, but luckily it's not been any downpour. It's been a bit drizzly, but some of the roads were flooded. Again, it could have been another excuse to wrap it and I've got other excuses I could use but no, we get it done. As I said, it's the final week so the motivation for that to just put it to bed now um, is high. So, as always, go and get some food and get to the gym. Right, morning guys down the gym. I kind of stopped doing the videos down here while I'm sitting outside the gym because I've got nothing to really say. As again, I'm going in, I'm going to do chest, I'm going to do legs or whatever it might be. I don't know if you'll be able to tell, I woke up this morning, well, I've tried to open my eyes this morning, my eyes were glued shut, and I've got, the look feels like the, well, it's not, feels like it's conjunctivitis, clearly. Now, I've never had that in my life. My wee boy had it not so long ago when he wasn't well, so maybe I've just picked up off of him. Um, so after this today, I'm going to have to go down to the pharmacy or something and get that done. Again, I don't want this to turn into, well, it's the last week anyway, but it's been one of those ones I've had a really bad cold, I hurt my back, and now we've got conjunctivitis, and it is just one of those things, one thing after another right now. But that's going to happen. I keep on saying this. That, um, it's going to happen. And to be honest with you, this morning, I'm like, right, how the hell am I going to drive down here? Like, Because I don't know if I'm going to be able to see. But to be honest with you, I've been using some um, wet wipes and stuff like that um, just to clean my eyes up. And to be honest with you, they feel all right right now. Um, they're not sore in like that, but I feel like they're going to be pretty um, sticky, shall I say. So I just get in here, smash out chest, and then after the day I've got, I've actually got a long working day today. And then I get down to the pharmacy and see if I can do anything about this. Focus! Good morning guys, another, oh, another run done, 
Now, I upped my carbs last night to try and get a really good run today and it did work, so I don't know my time right now but that felt quicker that felt my quickest, maybe but I'll check Now, you probably did see my timer there by the time I got up it Now, my wee boy wasn't settling You can probably see my eyes are still bad but it wasn't that Wee Joseph was up greeting for about 3 o'clock in the morning and as opposed to trying to get another 10 minutes in bed I was like, fuck it, let's go up and just get us done earlier so goal achieved take advantage of the shite situation so let's go down into the gym and smash it Fuck! Right guys, another run done. Just as well these runs are coming to an end because you can't see it right now probably but it's extremely wet. The moment I went out it was absolutely pissing down. Um, again, for most people back in the group because of the rain. One guy's bullshit, it's only rain. You know, wind get dried, get something to eat and then go and smash, smash the second session. See you soon. Fuck us! Good morning guys, another run done um, Luckily enough, no rain at all It's actually a really nice morning It's not cold, it's not warm, but it's nice and mild Very wet on the roads So again, no problems Feeling pretty good, I think, like I said last week The thought of it kind of coming to an end Always gives you that nice big boost When you're in the last week of any kind of challenge, you know So, as always, going to get some food Then get to the gym Right guys, another run done and last run of the challenge done. Now, I tried to get a PB there and I think I have, very clearly. I'll probably note it down there somewhere. It was really tough uh, as soon as I left the house. Not to get into detail but I really needed the toilet for about a, a mile in. So I probably speeded up because my body's right. You're bursting for a shite pal. Sorry for the details but honestly. Um, so, last run done, we never missed one, so that's 90 miles in 20 days. Again, it's actually less, which I'll explain at the end of this video, less than what I'm used to. But, run done, get some food, then go and get our last session in. Fuck it!
Alright guys, and that brings us to the end of this vlog, the end of this challenge. Now, when I've been kind of watching a lot of things online when it comes to these 4am um, rises, and I wasn't part of that crew, it just so happened to be what The Rock did. But if you look at a lot of folk, especially the kind of alpha male space, let's just say like your, your maybe your Jocko Willinks or even David Goggins and all those kind of things, which people, by the way, right off the bat, totally respect and um, listen and watch a lot of their stuff. But it's this whole get up at 4am thing, as if... Um, that that's the the right thing to do that's what you need to do to get an advantage in that and listen um, i've been doing it and i've been fairly enjoying it if i'm being honest but is it something that someone would do or even i would recommend and the answer is absolutely not like the thing that i've found by doing this whole thing is that that doesn't need to be like that i i can still fit in that kind of training if i prioritize it in any part of the day without getting up at four that that's the thing that i can figure out now i've been in not to be big-headed, but I've been in really, really, really good shape um, multiple times. I've been lean shredded, etc., etc. And not at any time did I have to go up at like 4 a.m. do double sessions um, within a couple of hours each, each other. But that wasn't the purpose of the challenge. The challenge was to try and do that, to do something that was very, very difficult that even on a, like a, a science-based level in terms of doing those two workouts like cardio and weights and um, back to back with no period in between to refuel properly and all that kind of thing. Um, if you know what I'm talking about, if you know what I'm talking about, if you don't, you don't. But it'd be much better if you were doing those double sessions to do them kind of spaced out, staggered, whatever it might be, on different days. and um, Those kind of things. Um, so in terms of that, am I going to keep the 4am rises going? The answer is absolutely not. Um, but not for any other reason other than I don't need to. Now, this is the one thing I would say it's given me really positive, that I've now got that in the locker. What do I mean by that? Um, there's been multiple times where I might have had an insanely busy day and I mean like sometimes I can be out from morning till night for whatever reason and there's been times where I probably could have got my training in if I just got up earlier and done it earlier being in like I would like look at it and be like I'm not going to get up at 4 to go a run and I've been doing that now for like 4 weeks and done it every day and it's doable, it's just a mindset thing People are always amazed when people got up at 4am. I was kind of one of those folk, like, people like, Jesus, well, who the hell would go up at 4am to do something? And do you know what it is? Like, it does, like I said this, I think, in week one, um, it didn't really matter. If I was going to my bed earlier, like, say if I was going to my bed at, like, nine, half nine and get up at four, it's the exact same as going to my bed at ten, half ten and get up at five. Or... 11 half 11 getting up at 6 and that's kind of what I was doing so the whole 4am rise when you kind of see it is a wee bit misconstrued in my opinion where people look at it and go oh my god you must be so dedicated to get up at 4am and it's like well no I'm getting the exact same amount of sleep if not a wee bit more because I was priori prioritising sleep a wee bit more you know um, so like I said I loved the whole element of this like I said before this challenge I was doing my training I was lacking a wee bit of motivation to kind of get it done and then I just I've been wanting to do this wee challenge for a while done it um, and it gave me a massive spark it gave me a massive spring in my step but does it need to keep going like that no um, what am I going to go do, do now probably get back to a bit more of the long distance running um, and definitely incorporate far more weights and maybe I do a wee bit more boxing but I've got the potential of getting another wrist surgery um, I've got an appointment with the surgeon this Wednesday so the next couple of days um, to see what's happening because last November I got surgery on my wrist that I'm currently holding this camera with right now so there's loads of things coming up and there's something I just want to touch on um, that I did say probably a couple of minutes ago in regards to this vlog but the other day that by doing this challenge that I've actually been doing less now in my Apple minutes per exercise it, it gave me a notification over the course of the last four weeks um, that my minutes of exercise have actually went down and it's, it's really really is true because I was sometimes running well it was eight milers five milers the four and a half mile run that I'm doing and then maybe on a Saturday or something like that I was maybe doing a 14, 16 miler, 13 miler, 10 miler. I was like doing a long distance run while also doing like a home workout while also going to the gym with no real purpose, but I was definitely doing more. The final way in and that another ball of filming this morning. I, I, again, I don't really think it's important. It wasn't the purpose of this, but I am leaner. I'm not going to put the stats up, honestly. Like 
I think it was four and a half pounds uh, for the start of this challenge in the last four weeks. Um, noticeable, genuine noticeable differences in terms of physique, but nothing worth posting about. So I listen, I'm not going to keep dragging this on. I hope you've enjoyed this. Um, I'll probably will keep documenting some sort of training, but not doing any challenges right now. Probably look at a really good solid challenge for the start of the year if you're wanting to follow that along. Um, I'm going to have another ebook for anybody who's going to get into um, training for the start of the year as well. How to work out your calories, how to make those decisions, how to design your own program, or maybe even how to just giving you a program i don't know i'm kind of been working on it right well listen if you've enjoyed it give it a like leave a comment always get back to them and i'll catch up with you all very soon